How do you see this whole well, dynamic? I, I think we're, we're bleeding right into it. The technology is here nowadays, you know, whether it's, you know, setting it up through Skype and, or using your iPhone, you know, that comes with Skype. Or many of these smartphones have a Skype download and just doing it and just collecting all the people that you possibly can. Build your database. Wherever you go, meet somebody. Get somebody's email address. You know, load things up on YouTube. Load things up on Vimeo, wherever you can, and just continue to to interact with those people. You know, technology is there, but of course there are the, the challenges, but it's up to us, you know, we're very, very, very uh, resourceful people, but there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, you know, I'm gonna post up a video of our rehearsal last night, tell me what you think of it, what do we need to change, what do we need to add, and just doing it kind of on one-off here, one-off there, and the more and more we engage in the process, I think uh, we can, can continue to grow this global uh, theater community. I mean, I do that with some of my actor coaches, friends in New York. If there's something I've been auditioning, I'm like, I'm not really feeling this. I will, you know, I'll YouTube it or Vimeo up and say, hey man, what do you think about this? Where do you think I need to go? Da, da, da. And he can give me feedback and we can just expand that onto mm -hmm. a more global scale. The other thing that's very interesting about all of this is um, I'm, uh, my good partner Terrence Coles here um, uh, tries to keep me up technically on what's happening and then um, at times we all hear something different and it's just an exciting time to be alive but you got to keep up with what's going on or you'll be in future shock. Yeah. You, <laughs> you, you, you won't know, what in the heck is Vimeo? Vimeo is a, <laughs> exactly. It's, it's an online site where you can download huge clips of video. So you can put your actor's reel up there, you can put whole short films up there, maybe even feature films if you have a plus you know, size. But it's one of those things people can log on, they can check out all the videos you have. Um, you, they can, you can select some to be private, you know, you can send them out to Google search, you know, so people can Google search you and all of a sudden your, your videos pop up. So it's, you know, it's pretty cool. So clearly the notion of a global theater um, is, it's not just possible, it's in a lot of ways happening. It is. Those it people is. in Canada are beyond the pale. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, those people in Canada are kind of almost a step ahead. I, 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 am I so wrong? No. That lady said, Sophia Town is a South African musical about Sophia Town. Uh, it was a, 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 a township that was torn to the ground um, um, when the apartheid government decided to just move people. And it was a vibrant, rich uh, 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 place. She said she has adapted it with a, a, a Ugandan director. Mm -hmm. She rewrote it uh, using various and sundry people from the diaspora to perform. That is an exciting, exciting notion. Heck with how it came out. The notion of it is fabulous. Um, it's a global theater. Um, that other lady, uh, Hope Zeta, said she has a festival in, for what, what uh, uh, July? When? January. January? That's the week that they celebrate. Where they yeah. sell, well, I can't guess, I can't call it celebrate. celebrate. But, a dance festival. We got to see that. Yep. And if there's a way to be involved, they would appreciate it, and we would appreciate it. Uh, that's the beginnings of our rising. Uh, you, you need a constant refertilization of art, of emotion, of, of, of form. Uh, to keep that improvisation alive. Otherwise, it becomes stale and stagnant because you are using the same old riffs. And I'm suggesting that the kinds of fertilizations that we would get from a global theater is exactly what we're talking about. No problem, but give us anything that we've been given over the last two or 300 years. You give it to the African-American or to the African or, or anybody out of the diaspora, and we'll make it different more and better. Instruments, and let me just, band, let me just add to that. We do, we do make it better, but we also have to 
organize and capture our audience because that's the only way we can capitalize. That's why these mediocre people and other you know examples come in and they capitalize off of what we do because they have figured out a way to market it. They have figured out a way to go direct to uh, the marketplace. They have set up the distribution and that's what we need to do. We need to collect all our email addresses, all our friends. We can't just go and do like one uh, performance and then leave, it's, hey, you like this performance, come this, give us your email address, build, build, build continuously, because that's how, I mean, Justin Bieber, he's what, 16 year olds mm -hmm. old now, maybe? But he had all these people that he could go to, get my video out, get my video out, get my video out. If we do the same thing and just collect everything and put it out there to our people, we now begin to create our own distribution channels. Because that's why I go to these exec meetings all the time, these production meetings, and it's like, okay, your only foreign is French, Germany, the UK, and Spain? No, because I've been there too, you know, everywhere, the Caribbean, everywhere, France, everywhere around the world, there are black people who want to see black product. That's and right. we have to go and figure out how to reach those people, bring them together, and then create that distribution. The theory I have on the thing is we are mathematicians. Improvisation is a good word, but one of the things I think that we have from passed on from way back is that we see things in equations. I would shout, I would shout that to the world. We don't. I, I learn, I've learned how to do film. I'm a film director. I'm a film writer. I apply something. I, I people would say I improvise. I see things in equations, and I see my brothers and sisters see things in equations. That's why we, we need to do what you're talking about, Lanre, with the with the distribution which is what's happening right now. But I think that's our skill in improvisation. It isn't something that's just, I got Coltrane on my shirt. That's a mathematician. 